Hey everyone, it's Lisa from ToCreateAWebsite.com. Look, say what you want to say about Google and their monopoly, and I know that I've been publicly critical about many of their recent moves, see my last video, <laughs> but there are two inventions that I absolutely love, and they are called Authorship and Author Rank. It seems that a lot of my newbie followers don't really understand how it works, so I want to explain it because it's very important to grasp this. Not only can authorship and your author rank help your organic search rankings, but more importantly, it's a great way to claim any content that you create before Theo the thief steals it. And trust me, if your content gets popular enough, you will have to deal with good old Theo or Thelma because it just wouldn't be cool to discriminate. <laughs> now, even though you cannot completely prevent this from happening, you can use authorship to let Google know that you own your content and created it first. And don't worry everybody, these thieves rarely get any mileage out of stealing your articles and they will realize that over time. So don't lose any sleep over it. Karma will catch up to them. Trust me, even if it just means they'll have absolutely no success from doing what they're doing. So let's get started. Here's how you set up Google authorship. First, create a Google Plus account with your name. Next, add your websites to the link section of your profile in your Google Plus account. Then add your name to a common section of your site. It could be in your profile snippet that's maybe in your navigation or the footer of your site. I have mine in my footer. Then you want to link your name to your Google Plus profile and be sure to add the rel equals author tag inside the code, like this. I should also mention there are WordPress plugins that will set this up faster and easier, so make sure you check those out too. And finally, use Google's rich snippet tool to verify that you've set up authorship correctly. If everything is set up right, you will see something like this, but of course it'll be your site and not mine. In a few days, your picture should appear next to your site in the search results. So why is this important? Studies show that people are more likely to click a search result with a picture than one without. So now let's talk about author rank. Your author rank is your individual online reputation based on your content's value according to Google. And here are the things that impact your author rank. First social media activity, especially plus ones through Google Plus on your content and YouTube videos. So any likes on your YouTube videos, any plus ones and comments and shares on your Google Plus content can positively influence your author rank. Number two, the strength of the online presence of those making comments, sharing, plus one in your content and interacting. Number three, the quality, consistency, and volume of natural links pointing to your content. So if Joe Schmo has a website that's relevant or related to yours and he decides to just give you a link in one of his posts because he likes your content, that link could help your overall author rank. And there are other factors that influence the author rank, but these are some of the big ones. And I have to also say this. It's important to understand that you shouldn't become obsessed with quantity of followers on Google+. You could have 10 million followers, but if no one is sharing or commenting, then you will get less value from your Google Plus activity and it won't help your author rank at all. These days, people are so incredibly obsessed with numbers, but they mean nothing if you don't have engagement or interaction. Now, Google has not disclosed any specifics on how author rank is calculated, and let's keep it real, they never will because it will just encourage abuse of the system. But the bottom line is, the more your content gets shared and interacted with, especially content associated with Google products like Google Plus and YouTube, the more it can potentially influence your individual author rank, which could have a very positive impact on your search engine rankings down the line. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on Google authorship and I'll chat with you later. Peace.